Good deal. Yeah. Well, hello everybody. Ant Man here. Got a pretty different episode today. Sometimes uh, the state of Florida will contact us Python contractors with what's known as an EDRR. That stands for Early Detection Rapid Response. So the state will receive a call about an uh, invasive species, a prohibited species like a python, and the contractors uh, in turn will respond to remove that animal. So I was called out to this site down in uh, South Florida close to the Everglades uh, where someone had reported a snake that uh, they thought was a python and uh, actually if you see in this video here I'm carrying the bag because I have already uh, already detained the animal but I'm on the property right now looking for uh, more because it turned out to actually be a juvenile hatchling Burmese python and um, where there's one there's usually more if the clutch had been nearby so what I'm doing in this video right here is I'm just moving around from location to location on the property looking underneath things and so forth just like you would look for any snake but uh, I'll go ahead and show you how uh, this turned out to be the easiest uh, python capture I've ever had in my life but the the property looked ripe and uh, I did not find any more but it was definitely a, a cool way to uh, start off uh, what I think is gonna be a pretty cool adventure so hope you all enjoy A rapid response call from a buddy who had a snake that he wants me to identify. Well, we can identify it all right. So he found this in his yard underneath a piece of debris next to a chicken coop. And as you can see, it's a Burmese python that's full of a nice little meal. Most likely, judging from the stomach, it's digesting some rat. See how fat it is? Yeah, that's a rat. You can tell by the shape of it. He said that the chicken coop actually has a big problem with rats. And uh, he's been poisoning the rats. So it's interesting to see if this snake would have probably gotten killed anyhow from uh, the poison of the rat that it has ate. Obviously, we will not be able to find out, but it's definitely, this is a hatchling from this year, and you can see that this is a very, very fat and healthy snake. Like, mega fat and healthy. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it made a mess, too. Yeah. That's disgusting. Little urates. But nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and bag this in the cup. Hey, buddy! There you go. And just like that, it's in the bag. That's a big king! Wow, I almost want to get some photos of that with my uh, phone. Alright, so we've got a really big eastern king over here. Stubtail. That's a yeah. pretty good one for you. Big snake. Big male. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got going here on the tail. Male. As we expected, at that size, it's pretty much always a male. That's not bad for up here. Yeah. Look at that scar on its back, too. Yeah. Very scarred up. Full of ticks. Full of ticks. We're going to have to do some tick removal. Yeah. Look at all those ticks right there. Yeah, but. Big, big male king. They're quite prevalent this time of year on the crawl, getting ready for the season. This is a big snake. This snake is a four foot, four foot king. Maybe over four feet even. It's over four, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a big one. Wow. Yeah, this is, uh, they've been quite plentiful this year, without a doubt. We've seen kings almost every time out, day or night. They've been just, just real plentiful. All right, so what we have here is this good-sized Florida king snake. It's a male that we had just seen crossing here in the morning. 
this time is of the year it's early season the males are on the prowl looking for females so this would be Lampropeltis getula floridana and uh, this is a quite a large snake you, you know these used to be common even as late as maybe 1994 but you don't see them too much anymore although this year has been loaded with them um, we've been seeing them out pretty much every trip this is a veteran animal you can see he's got bulge right here underneath his surface of his skin so he's got some kind of parasite he's uh, got scars on his back there that could be fire that could be frost could be a lot of things and you'll notice right here this scar is full of ticks which my buddy Kevin and I are gonna go ahead and remove off this animal and this this poor guy is also a stub tail so he's he's had quite a life but we're gonna go ahead and remove the ticks off this this uh, beautiful guy and let him go about his day and uh, hopefully he'll breed with some beautiful females and uh, keep the uh, keep the few kings that are left in Dade and Broward County keep the population going it was on a decline for decades but we've seen an extraordinary amount of kings in the last four or five months pretty much daily or nightly they're just or multiple per night they've uh, all through Dayton Broward they've really really made a comeback so we're gonna get to picking these nasty little little ticks off of his body and we're gonna send this snake on its way awesome so Kevin snakeaholic and I are about to let this king go we went ahead and removed the ticks off of the animal which you can see right here it's he's he's bleeding a little bit but he's gonna be all right so we're gonna release him into the water right here where he can go the other way so he can be safe on his way and there he goes look at that just like that they vanish it's incredible how quickly kings especially with their pattern are just Like all shed, yeah, in full shed. Cool. <laughs> That's what we would expect, dude. And I'm assuming male. Yeah. Yeah. Big. Could be here for a reason. Cool. Woo! Awesome. I thought it was bigger than that too. Yeah, you always get excited for them when you... Well, I just thought mid-body, and I figured that might be the neck. Mm-hmm. Nine, maybe. Oh, definitely. Definitely nine. All right, so we came out to run an experiment today to see if we could get a snake going in the shed. Now, we know at this time of year that these pythons are shedding their skin a lot. Well, that's what happens when the old GoPro battery dies. But what Kevin was saying is that, that, that at the early season time of year, the pythons have a pre-breeding shed cycle. So we were out trying to uh, capitalize on that, which we were able to with this uh, pretty decent sized male that we found. Um, we jumped around a couple of places that day after the king snake and finally uh, capitalized on that area. So worked out well. Just rolling a little outro footage here of uh, one of my backyard male iguanas and he's probably not too happy with me so there he goes but it's pretty neat you got to see an EDRR and uh, a little king snake action and some python action and a little iguana action so a little bit of everything in this video hope you enjoyed it like I always say please like and subscribe if you enjoy the material and I hope to see you all out there in the field take care be safe